Hey guys, Dr. Steve here. Happy Halloween. It is uh, Core Wellness TV time again, and I'm going to take you into the studio here in a second to take you to a little snippet. I just did uh, all of my uh, my videos for my coaching students, and one, uh, one of the Q&A questions was about how to breathe when you're doing the push-away lunge exercise, or basically any exercise in general that creates, that, that where you need to create power and so I'm, I'm going to take you into the studio and show you that in a second and it's a it's very important to understand how to do this both with a brace and with breathing and I'll, I'll talk about the, the separation between those two and how to use your diaphragm to create intra-abdominal pressure and that is basically what your core is the ability to create intra-abdominal pressure and make this nice little ball inside your uh, uh, torso essentially but I'll get you I'll get you that in a second right um, out here I have uh, as I'm gonna go away from me and I'll take you to what I'm doing here making a little hoop house a little low to the ground hoop and these are actually these are pretty high I'll probably end up cutting those a little bit but I'm trying to preserve my greens I got a lot of good greens growing uh, and it's getting ready to freeze tonight and I do not want to lose all my stuff although it will handle several freezes my attempt this winter is to be able to have greens as much of the winter as I can using this nice little low-tech hoop house so I will uh, I'll let you know how that goes maybe I'll show you a finished product when I get it all done obviously I have to have it done by the time it freezes tonight I'm getting over here so that so the wind doesn't blow on me but uh, maybe I'll give you a picture of the pin finished product but uh, well enjoy the, uh, the trip into the studio and I hope you get something out of this if you have any questions or comments just leave them down below the video and I'd be glad to answer them but if you're watching this on YouTube make sure you go to the blog because that's where the interaction happens in the comments okay thank you very much you guys have a happy and safe Halloween and we'll see you next time bye bye so this one see so should you breathe in or out are we supposed to breathe in or out when coming up in the push away lunge okay now this is let me see what did I say inhale I just okay I'll say what I said and then I'll, I'll I'll go I'll expand on it I find that the inhale gives me more natural anti-gravity feeling because the diaphragm is descending and creating more organic pressure but you should train it both ways okay here's what let's let's go through this here you are in your in your push away lunge right here you are now when you go down you're going to go down to wherever you're comfortable ideally you want to be able to to get down to where your knees almost touching right so when you come back up he's talking about when you come back up should you should you breathe out or should you breathe in or what should you do and i said i like that I like using anytime I can use my breath as my pressure creator I do it because it's organic okay what I mean by that is when I'm here and if I breathe in my diaphragm is going to go down okay remember the diaphragm is like a like a big dome that opens up when you breathe in oh, excuse me it's like this when you breathe in it's going to go like this okay so think about this how does if, if I was to do this down there's going to be a, a reverse effect of going up okay and you should feel that you can do it in your here as long as your ribs are down and everything's connected and everything's centrated if you breathe in it should give you a lift you should feel the lift of your breath just as if you're in baby belly and you breathe into your front support zone it's going to lift you backwards or if you're in baby back and you breathe into your back it's going to lift you forward okay when you're here and the intention is down you're going to go up make sense if the intention is down you're going to go up and also you'll see here I always have that intention of pushing away breathe in so it's any way to create the pressure okay but you should also train it the other way because sometimes you're going to need that that just a like a pressure or a stiffening as long as you're creating pressure that's all that matters so train it both ways because sometimes like I said you're not going to have the foresight or the thought to to breathe in to create a brace sometimes you just need to brace 
That's why we have to train it both ways. We train the ability to we have to train the ability to pop without breathing, and then we have to train the ability to pop with your breath. Okay? So that's a very good thing to practice. Just like this. You're going to breathe in and feel the the, the pressure that the breath creates. Also, without breathing. You should be able to do it without breathing. Bottom line is, you need to be able to create that pressure anytime, anywhere, because that is your ultimate posture brace. That's your ultimate back brace. It's what protects you. Okay? It's what protects you from overloading your spinal tissues and getting in trouble. All right? So, train it both ways, but always be able to do it both ways. The, the breathing in is usually m takes more coordination. Okay, so it's it's a good thing to focus on and work on. All right, and I wanted to give you a few things to uh, focus on. My cat's scratching at me in the background now. Hi, baby, baby. <laughs> uh, the um, 